this what I have in my hand. It is nine pound, 14 ounces, a baby boy, perhaps the next meth. There's his wife, Robin, and his son, Hunter. In recent years, it's been a lot more of a big deal to me, I guess, since I've kind of delved headfirst into the bodybuilding. He's been a great role model. I am uh, so proud of him. I'm just really just tickled that, that one, he wants to be a pro bodybuilder. I had to start putting on serious size, but also keeping my waist small. I've only respected him more than I've got into it and uh, what he was able to achieve and I realized how hard it really is. I need to show people that I'm serious and this is all I do. I'd like to bring old school back to new school bodybuilding and I feel like if anyone's the best case for that it isn't. I go over, uh, uh, even if you don't like me, I make you like me. He was what we thought was the biggest you could be. It isn't just a quest for the most massive man, it is a quest for the most perfect man. So that man is going to be a combination of classical symmetry, proportion, and mass.
composing is an art. And it's an art form as an artist that works in flesh. So in the gym, you are sculpting the muscles, you're sculpting your body, and then on the stage, you are presenting your art form, you are presenting your masterpiece. For me to be successful, I'm gonna have to be a modern day version of Lee. It doesn't really come into my mind that I need to work hard because my dad's lead. Being the first child of a professional bodybuilder to get the pro card, you're going to hear a lot of, oh, you got this because of your dad, and that, you know what, but no one's saying that about me because I have no help, no sponsors, I have no free rides. So uh, I do like that, yeah, no one can put my success on anyone's shoulders but my own. bad that your father passed away way way too early if he would see this he would be laughing and he would be smiling and he would be the happiest guy in the world how proud we are of you